Scotland has no shortage of places that will unlock the feelings inside you that you can't describe. But the likes of myself, you'd probably think that special place would be on top of a Munro somewhere, with an ocean of clouds as far as the eye can see, or on one of the many stunning coastlines with crashing waves and that lovely seaside smell that takes you back to your childhood. But it's not. It's here. Out west, where not a lot of folk think to look. It's a deep and dramatic woodland gorge that comes to life after some heavy rainfall, which is quite common here in Scotland. So if you're looking for some place to go on a miserable day, then here you go. The gushing waterfalls beneath the towering Douglas firs mixed with that vibrant vegetation and moss-covered stone create this atmospheric blend that just tricks you into thinking you've teleported into some sort of fantasy film. Or maybe it's just the troublesome spirits that are said to linger here that have created that illusion for me. Due to the annual rainfall and diverse flourishing ecosystem, Pucks Glen is as close to a temperate rainforest as you'll find here in Scotland. Although the forest isn't natural, it's only here due to the hard work of James Duncan, a sugar refiner and philanthropist. He bought the land and planted 6 million trees back in 1870 and built the paths leading to the gorge. Without James, this magical spot wouldn't exist. But thankfully it does. And I love the attention Scotland's natural wonders get, and think that all should get the chance to experience it. However, please, look after it, and leave no trace. <laughs>